So this is it. This is formally the end of the Alpine summer. And it's only fitting that I'm finishing off my Alpine summer conditions reports the way I started them. Skiing off of the Iggy Dimidi. And it's pretty damn exceptional right now. As of today, Sunday the 28th of September, the last remaining lifts which operate to a seasonal timetable are closing for the end of the summer. So that's the panoramic lift linking the Guy de Midi and Skyway and the tramway to Mont Blanc. So after that, all that's left is the Guy de Midi and Montanvers which operate virtually all year round. So yeah, like I say, formally, this is the end of the summer season here in Chamonix. As I said in my previous conditions report, this won't necessarily be my final conditions report of the summer season, but it might, so that's worth bearing in mind. But for now at least, it's well and truly looking wintry up here. The thoughts of any kind of summer alpine climbing are well off the radar right now. And indeed, things are starting to shape up nicely for mixed climbing too. I'll be amazed if anyone manages to get any summer alpine climbing routes done in summer alpine conditions now. This must be it for this season. There's so much snow around now that even if we do get a bit of an uh, Indian summer in October, a lot of this snow is going to remain. But that doesn't mean that you can't still climb summer alpine routes. There's a few teams on the Pont National Traverse right now. It's very mixed, very wintry, but of course it's still basically a summer alpine route. And as always, there's going to be teams on the Aretta Lawrence and the Cosme Caret, which are in pretty good condition again now. There's been a fair amount of freeze fall cycles recently, so everything's starting to stabilise and solidify. There is still the risk, risk of rockfall, particularly around the um, abseil points. If you are planning on doing the Cosmic Caret, ENSA have recently fully equipped the northern bypass of the where, where the abseils would be, basically. So this new bypass is basically the recommended way to go now due to the instabilities around the abseil points. And you can access this either from before the first abseil from the top of the first abseil, or even after the first abseil, there's anchors at all those places to get down onto the Northern Bypass. Then it requires a little bit of a traverse, a slight down climb, and then you come back up the other side of the cool wire that you abseil into. Especially with the colder temperatures, the permafrost is starting to refreeze again, and there's a good coating of pretty firm snow now. So yeah, conditions on things like the Cosmic Caret, and of course, over on the Marbrays and Entrebs as well, are pretty good again. With all this fresh snow, conditions on the glaciers are, of course, very dangerous right now, especially on foot, but even on skis. Ooh. It's still very, 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 very early season, and grasses are absolutely everywhere, just covered by powder. So you need to be very careful if you're up here. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty terrifying being here on my own, surrounded by all these crevasses, but I'm following other tracks, so at least I can see if somebody else has fallen in front of me. Never fear, it may well be the end of the alpine summer, but things are starting to shape up pretty damn nicely for the autumn mixed climbing season. All this wet, sticky participation, big temperature swings, yo-yoing freezing levels is perfect for building neve and snow ice, which is exactly what you need. So yeah, it's well worth keeping an eye on how conditions develop for things such as the routes on the Tackle Triangle, Shokuwa for example, things in the Vendor Dragon sector of the Guida Midi, and maybe even over on the east face of the Pointe Nationale and, tackle tra and want, want to tackle. So yeah, keep an eye on how things develop. I'll of course keep you informed of everything I know and I find out, and hopefully I'll get to climb some things myself too. If you are looking to climb in the Vent de Dragon area, 
Ensa have added a new abseil approach line to climbs all on that face now, which can be accessed by the terrace which you finish up at if you've done the Cosmic Arete. So you need to down climb the ladder and traverse along a little bit, and it then requires five pretty much full length 60 meter abseils, so you need two 60 meter ropes to do it. Two 50 meter ropes aren't good enough. It's only really worth taking this approach if you are doing the climbs. If you're planning on skiing, the Passau Kula, you're still better to abseil off the bridge because in good conditions you can put your skis on after just two 60 meter abseils. Whereas, regardless of how good the snow is, you need to do at least five full length abseils before you can put your skis on on this new abseil line. It's not just the lifts which are all closed now, all high mountain huts which are accessible from the Chamonix Valley are now closed for the summer season as well. Some reopen again in winter for mixed climbing and ski tours, but others won't be open again until next spring. But that just means that winter rooms are now in operation. The exception being, I think, the refuge at Plan de la Guy, but that's because that's basically there, there as a restaurant for people who are going up to the mid station or people who've hiked up from the valley, but not many people will be using it as a bunkhouse this time of year. Torino huts also still open, but Beyond today, you won't be able to get there from Chamonix because you can't come across on the panoramic and the tunnel's closed as well. So yeah, that's it now for high mountain huts if you're in the Chamonix Valley.